Welcome to day 28 of the 30 Day Brush Kickstart. If you've been following this series all the way from the start, I want to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. The final three days of these lessons are all devoted to comping and melodic playing in swing. However, the concepts I'm going to show you are applicable to any style. Today we're going to focus on how to interpret syncopation exercise 1 from Ted Reed's syncopation book. It's on page 37 or 38 depending on what edition you have. But before I show you how to play this with brushes, we first need to listen to how it would sound with sticks. I'm going to play the basic swing ostinato with the snare interpreting the exercise. If we analyze this in terms of note lengths, the ride symbol provides legato notes or long notes, and the snare provides short notes. The balance of articulation is what's important here. Now when we interpret this exercise with brushes, it's a good idea to approach the articulation in a similar way. To start with, I'm going to show you a pattern that addresses the long note aspect, but first let's start with the two direction shuffle. Now the problem with this groove is that it outlines every offbeat in the left hand. This gets in the way of the time feel, so we need to flatten it out. What I want you to do is play the groove again, but gradually change the left hand sweeps so that they stay on the head and create continuous sweep. This is called the two direction legato. Now it's important to still change the left hand direction on the upbeats, as if we were still playing the shuffle groove. This movement makes the interpretation of the exercise easier. Speaking of, let's start working on the exercise. There are a few steps you'd need to follow to get this interpretation right, and we're first going to focus on the right hand. It plays outward sweeps on beats 1 and 3, and inwards on 2 and 4. When there is an on beat notated in the exercise, you simply accent the sweep. I'll show you what the right hand plays for the first four bars of the exercise. I'll now add in the left hand playing the legato sweeps. Now the left hand plays all the notated offbeats. It plays an outward sweep for the offbeats of 1 and 3, and an inward sweep for the offbeats of 2 and 4. To demonstrate this, I'll add in the right hand playing light sweeps on the beat. Whenever there aren't any offbeats notated in the exercise, the left hand plays continuous sweeps without lifting off the head. Let's now add the on-beat accents. And that's basically it. I'll now play the first 16 bars of the exercise for you over a foot ostinato. I hope that's given you plenty to work on. Come back tomorrow and I'll show you how to incorporate the kick drum. But before you go, check this out. 